So after the conclusion of match day number two, how did each and every one of the countries fare in this past match day? Were they good, were they bad, or were they ugly? In this video, we're gonna find out. That's right, folks, back once again with another ranking video. Today, we're going to rank each and every one of the country's performances in match number two over in Euro 2024. And we'll get to that in a second. If you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe button. Your one-stop shop for Euro 2024 is right here under one roof. Give me some good performances past week, and we've also seen some terrible ones. How did each country fare? We'll get into that in a second, of course. Big, big shout-out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you knew, smash the old subscribe, boys and girls. Your one-stop shop for Euro 2024 is is here of course we did this uh, for match number 20 uh, match number one in euro 24 we ranked them from a to, to f and we're gonna do just the same here uh for the past match day so let's get into it and jump into the old tier list here and go each uh country country by country group by group and rank them from a to f a mean fantastic f mean absolutely tra tra tragic so let's get into it. of course starting with the hosts germany who of course continue to do what they do uh, and they've been absolutely fantastic so far. The challenge was a little bit more difficult this past uh, week uh, with Hungary stepping up to the plate. It was a, a little bit more of a subdued performance by Germany, but a clean sheet, a couple of goals as well, uh, and already through to the last 16. So secured their spot there. Meanwhile, their opposition, Hungary, came in. Uh, and of course, back-to-back uh, -back defeats for them. They're not completely out of it yet, but... Uh, they are struggling at the moment. I'm going to uh, grade their performance as a D. I did expect a bit of a fight from them, but uh, not the best. Meanwhile, same group, different match. The Scots came in and they delivered uh, an A-worthy performance, but I can't really grant them an A for for a draw. I'm going to give them a B because there was a lot of um, a lot of pressure on the shoulders of the Scots. Um, I thought they uh, rose to the occasion because they did get spanked and suffered probably the heaviest defeat in Euros uh, this past week. So they responded well and got a B. As for their opposition, the Swiss, again, come into this, remain unbeaten on the verge of qualification as well. But I'm going to grade them as a C because I thought they were just a little bit vanilla. They really didn't take it to the Scots when they had the opportunity and, uh, and and let them off the hook, really. So let's move over to Group B. And then again, the winners were Spain this past week for them. Another massive win, uh, important win over Italy. Again, secure their uh, second round status. They've already qualified as group winners as well. Fantastic stuff. They're in last 16 and they look one of the teams to avoid. Meanwhile, their opposition, of course, the champions, Italy, limping a little bit. Uh, and I probably would grade them around about a D as well. Their performance was pretty poor. Didn't really cause any concerns for Spain and and, uh, and left a lot of uh, a lot of unanswered questions for them. Meanwhile, uh, Albania came in and unfortunately they could only muster a draw, but it turned out to be a, a decent point uh, uh, in the grand scheme of things because they, they did take the lead. And then of course they were trailing at 2-1, but they fought back to the better end. I'm going to grade them a B as well for that performance against Croatia gives them a little hope of course they have to beat Spain uh, who may take the foot off the gas you just don't know uh, it does look like a, a mission impossible though for Albania to get through to that 60 but that performance was good 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 uh, good fight to the better end and that's what you need as for Croatia um, you know to take the lead 2-1 I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna put you down here in the F. I thought it was F grade performance. You should be beating Albania. You should be securing your status as well. Right now, that point leaves you in limbo land. I do think you can beat Italy. I really do. Um, and and you have to raise your game because Italy have been poor so far, but Croatia have not been much better either. So so just the one point so far, and then we go to a Group C. All right, let's kick it on over to Group C then, and we'll start with the Eastern Bloc, and we'll go with Serbia here. Serbia, of course, coming from behind, 1-0 loss down to, to Slovenia, Thought them, got themselves right back in, the, in this game, but uh, realistically, it was a subpar performance in a game I expected the Serbians to come out on top. When you got the likes of uh, Vla Vlahovic, Mitrovic, Kostic, and, and Mojovic as well, maybe, uh, 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 I would expect goals uh, from them, and they've been very, very poor. In converting their chances. As for Slovenia, they're still in here. Of course, they opened up their uh, uh, account with a draw against the Danes. They now picked up a draw against Serbia. It is looking like Mission Impossible for them to qualify. They have left the most difficult game to last, where they'll take on England. But I'm going to give them. I'm going to give them a C grade for that performance. It was good. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, it didn't really move many mountains. Uh, but uh, and unfortunately, probably 
uh, it's going to be all that, all that, uh, you know, that's pretty much going to be it for, for Slovenia. I don't think they're going to get many points in their final game. Let's take a look then at the Danes and England. We'll have a look at these side by side. I think England, uh, I dare I say it, uh, is, is, is a deep performance for them. They didn't lose, I'll give them that. Um, but they really should have been winning this game. No, no disrespect to the Danes, the, the players that England have, have on offer, they should be winning this game comfortably, like 3-1 or something like that. But you've got to give the Danes credit. I'm going to put them into the B column for their performance. Good comeback, great goal, fantastic goal. Um, and uh, yeah, again, just like Slovenia, back-to-back -back draws. They need they need a result against Serbia to ensure a last 16 berth. It's not guaranteed yet. A win for Serbia could us could um, could turn the group on its head. As for England, though performance wise has been subpar uh in the past four matches the bosnia game they got a win they did lose to iceland uh of course and then they um and then they uh picked up the the, the win against serbia and now a draw against the it's not been great however get through the groups which it does look like they'll get through the groups and maybe they'll we'll see the real england because currently it's been very, very poor. Then, of course, La France, of course. Uh, the French coming into this on the back of that nil-nil draw against the Dutch and a 1-0 win uh, in their previous match against the Austrians. But we're grading them on this week's performance, and that was a little bit vanilla, a little bit boring, of course. I couldn't really get excited for the French. Um, and ultimately, I think they were a little bit lucky to get that nil-nil uh, in the end. Uh, as for the Dutch, can we, can we grade them any more uh, than a C as well? I probably I'm going to have to put them alongside the French with a C grade performance. Not great, not appetizing. Uh, and and uh, yeah, it's, uh, but again, they're good enough. They've got the four points. They should be there in the last 16. I think that's priority number one for the Dutch. As for the Poles, dismal, diabolical. They're already out. First team out. Uh, and, and again, this is just this week's performance, not the performance as a whole, because that has been, you know, it's been pretty shitty so far. Uh, and of course, it continued this week. As for the Austrians, though, we are going to put them Top tier, fantastic performance against the Poles. Good response from following on from losing to the French in their last game. And of course, they're now in, in, in a little bit of a situation where they could get to the last 60. It's not done yet. They need a result against the Dutch. A draw should do it. A win would be even more. But for me, one of the best results of the week. And of course, put yourself in the mixer. Next up, of course, let's talk about the Belgians. What a performance from the Belgians. Uh... Uh, they were good. They were okay. They were a little bit unfortunate against Slovakia, but they definitely stepped up the plate. They needed a win. They got the win, and uh, and they put themselves back in the in the mixer to win this group. Of course, uh, so good chance for them. Group E, um, fantastic performance. A couple of goals as well. They could have had more, and they probably should have had more. As for my Romanians, you know what? It's hard. It really is hard. I thought they played good football. It's, it's entertaining football. If you want to watch a team right now, you got to watch Romania. They're, they're end to end. They don't let you down with drama. Uh, it's all on the line though now heading into match number three. And I do hope for the, for the tournament's sake that Romania can, can get it out of it. I'm going to, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put you in the C. I thought your performance was great. You just got caught out a couple of times, but uh, whatever you guys go for, you should have had a couple of goals yourselves. Um, but uh, I did anticipate this game would be a little bit too far. Um, but you've got yourself set yourselves up for the final game against Slovakia. You win that, you could even top the group still. So let's not get too disheartened and let's go again. As for Ukraine, welcome back, Ukraine. Uh, what a comeback in that. That's also a top tier of performance as well. Grade A performance coming back into the game against the Slovakia side who uh, were on their way. They were on the way to Easy Street after their result against Belgium. Now this, this group is absolutely madness. Everyone's on three points heading into the final games. What we don't want is two draws to make this a mathematic nightmare. Uh, but anyway, as for Slovakia, again, a little bit hard done by. I'm going to have to stick him in the D column, though, uh, to uh, to uh, put us in uh, in the mixer there. Let's go over to, of course, Group F and grade these punks here, of course, completing the, the setup here for match number two. Portugal, again, did their business. 3-0, they were fantastic. Uh, and, of course, Ronaldo uh, setting up uh, uh, matey boy Fernandes at the end. He could have went for goal for himself. A lot of options, a lot of, uh, and of course, top top bins, two wins out of two. Portugal, a team to avoid. As for Turkey, they gave all they can, they could for this for this one, um, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put them down into the D. They were not, they were not stellar. They were very much uh, uh, out of the into the fire pit a little bit uh, for this one, and uh, unfortunately, we'll have to go again against. 
Czech Republic, which is a winnable game. And let's take a look at uh, another uh, surprise package. That was Georgia. Great point from Georgia. Probably, hopefully, could have had more. I'm going to push them into the B column. Everyone has written off Georgia, but they, they gave a good account for themselves. It was a penalty and maybe a little bit lucky to get that point in the end against the difficult Czech Republic side. But uh, ultimately, a massive point for them. It is, again, Mission Impossible where they take on Portugal in the last game, which does look like for the, for the likes of Albania and Georgia a step too far. But um, they gave it, they, at least they come away with something in this game, which at the moment, Poland does not. As for the Czechs, I'm also going to probably have to put them in the C for this. They came back into that game, gave a good account of themselves uh, and got themselves something. And they, of course, will then take on Turkey. And a winner takes all battle, which, of course, hopefully will mean uh, a runners-up spot for either one of those nations. And there you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. That's, of course, my rankings of each and every one of the countries in Euro 2024. Only a couple countries delivered an F-grade performance where there was five or six, actually six countries giving you A-grade performances, who, of course, will get them uh, top marks next time around. We'll get into it, of course, whenever we come back. But until then, subscribe, smash the like, get 50 likes if you can. Of course, we'll see you soon for the next one.